Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a minute since I vlogged. I'm here in the car because I'm doing some errands today. I need to go pick up some flowers for my friend's baby shower, which is on Sunday, which is in a few days. And then and I also just wanted to go to Trader Joe's and get some food. And there's also a TJ Maxx Home Goods over there, and there's some stuff on my list. I'm here with my sidekick, my partner in crime. And let me tell you, she is about that crime life. <laughs> It's a rainy day, so over the rain. We had a week of like beautiful 75 degree weather. I got out all of my summer, spring and summer wardrobe and now it's it snowed yesterday where I live, so back to that. Good girl, good girl, Mooch. Everett's gonna be doing the sourdough, so we'll probably be baking maybe tomorrow. Everett and I are looking for new side table lamps. We just have not found the right ones. It's, we've been looking for a few months, honestly. I guess we're kind of picky. I don't see any that I love. These are kind of cool, but I don't like the pink, but I like the glass, that's kind of cool. I did find some little dog toys, dog chews for mochi. I just needed some sponges and then I like these kitchen towels and I need some new ones really bad. Okay, I found a few rugs I've been wanting. I've got one for the back door going out to the deck and then this one will be in the kitchen. And I'm also looking for blue pillows for our patio furniture that we got, which is like a kind of like a little bit lighter than navy blue but I still haven't found the right pillows. The search continues, but there is a Marshalls right next door, so maybe at Marshalls we'll find something. Gonna make a quick lap around TJ Maxx, see if they have anything they didn't have when I was in Home Goods. These bags are so cool. I don't need one, but I love the green one. And look at these pink ones. Oh my gosh, so fun. I love those. This Bottega dupe is super cute though and I love how big it was. If it was white, I'd get it. I'm only looking for a white purse. But that is cute. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't film the rest in, in TJ Maxx and then I went to Trader Joe's and Ulta Bath and Body Works. I couldn't film because people, it just got super busy and I could barely shop. I feel like I get anxiety when shopping when there's a ton of people, so I like to shop midweek. But I did get my friend's baby shower, or it's not baby shower, it's her gender reveal. So she's doing all neutral colors, so I got all of her flowers at Trader Joe's just because they have really good prices, and then I'm gonna put the bouquets together myself here. So I got like daisies, baby's breath, um, roses, all sorts of beautiful flowers. I'll show you what I got from Trader Joe's first. I'll be quick. So I got a mac and cheese, two of the gorgonzola gnocchi, um, some pineapple chunks for smoothies. Ever and I have been getting into smoothies again. I got some raspberries and peaches for smoothies. I got these, I have never tried these, jalapeno cream cheese crispy wontons. Those look fire. And then I just wanted to do a super easy dinner. So I thought we could do the Asian vegetables stir fry and the orange chicken. People like the orange chicken from Trader Joe's, but I don't know if I've ever even tried it. If so, it's been forever. Steamed chicken soup dumplings, those are really good too. And I got the birra. We've been making our own tortillas, and I really like the birra. And then I also got the kimbap. A lot of people said that this was good, but my Trader Joe's hasn't had it until now. Some sesame crunch salad kit. Butter, we've been baking a lot. And I got Everett some heavy whipping cream. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Whew, 
Okay, sorry, I had to change into my sweats. It's freezing today. I wanted to go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx, but then I ended up going to Bath and Body Works that had a sale. I had a 20% off at Ulta, and I went to Ross, because <laughs> it's right next to Trader Joe's. And then obviously bought stuff at Trader Joe's, so I did a little damage today. Don't tell Everett, he's outside. <laughs> I just got this little blue rug right here for the backyard for when we are on the deck, the deck that is currently being built, but we needed like a little backdoor rug because dirt has been coming in. I don't know what happened to our last one. I don't even remember what was back there. I had to re-up on my Tarani, Tarani, Tarani. People always make fun of how I pronounce this. Tarani, Tarani, you want a treat? I got you some super breast dental care dog bones with kelp and parsley. <laughs> Let's see if they like them. Hopefully they do. Or this could be why they're at Home Goods. Sit. Good girl. Here you go, Tegan. I got sponges. <laughs> and I got these cute dish towels. I needed some new little kitchen towels. These are a nice material. TJ Maxx, I didn't get anything really very exciting. I got this little sun bum. <laughs> you are into everything. You are into everything. Sun bum hair lightener. I don't know, you're just supposed to put it in your hair and it lightens it up. I have no idea. I just got a mini one, it was only $4 in the checkout area. And then I got these. I liked it, this one was like all in one attached piece together. And then we needed the spoons. Like I said, we've been baking sourdough from Ulta. I had a 20% off and I couldn't remember if I have this palette or not. I really like, oh my gosh, my eyelash is flying off. It didn't look familiar, the like front of it. But there we go. Yeah, I really like those colors, especially these like matte, like brown ones. Very pretty. I originally went in for this Essence bronzer right here. I saw a TikTok creator that does makeup for work or like is a makeup artist. She likes to use this Baby Got Bronze uh, Essence stick because she said that this one's like a really good contour. Look how cool toned it is. And she says she uses this to contour her nose. So I thought I'd kind of try that. I looked it up on Amazon and it was like $20 and in store, it's five. <laughs> it's in the color Moon Dust. And I got a new mascara. I feel like people like this one, the Lash Princess from Essence. I didn't, I know that people like the Essence mascaras and I haven't tried one in a long time. I also got this Essence Cinnamon Spice lip liner to go with this really pretty Juvia's Place. Um, this is a volumizing gloss stick. It looks like a cross between a lip gloss and a like sh glossy lipstick. And it's in the color True Nude. But once you start using it, it is like thick and glossy, like very shiny on the lips or like on my hand when I swatched it. I sprayed the new Kylie perfume. Not impressed. I would not buy it. Feel like it's very generic smelling. It smells nice, it smells pretty, like it smells good, but it's just like a very generic smell. And then I also got the Essence Juicy Balm Shiny Lip Gloss. I'll try this right now. Kind of smells fruity or like watermelon kinda or strawberry or something. Lip balm's okay. It's not a must, but it's fine. Um, okay, and then I went to Bath and Body Works and they were having a sale for, I think like the body care is, was like $5, $5.95, which was a pretty good deal for some of this stuff because it was like all body care, not just the sprays and stuff. So I got this glowing fruit enzyme body polish. And then I also got the matching just body wash. That was this polish. And then this is the wash. Yeah, it smells good. Kind of like a energizing smell. And then I got the Tropidelic body cream. I think I got the full size body spray of this. I really like this smell. It's very like ylang ylang kind of smell, that like um, yellow floral tropical smell. And I really, really like that one. And then I got three body mists. I did get the large size of the Tropidelic because I only have a small travel one and I wanted the big one. There's probably like eight to 10 of this new collection. 
And apparently um, they've been really popular. Like a bunch of people were driving in and like getting these right away. Like one of them sold out while I was there because they are dupes for a lot of different fragrances. So there was like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe. The Delina one smelled really good. Um, I just don't need a body spray in that. I got Petal Paradise is the Prada Paradox dupe. And it's good. It's definitely like orange blossom and tuberosey. Very sweet, it does really smell like Paradox, very similar. And then this one is supposed to be the Dossier, I mean the Glossier U, if you musk. It's Iris Pink Pepper and Airy Musk. And I feel like it smells similar, it's not exactly the same. But it'll definitely go with it. This one was for sure was my favorite. The Delina one was really good too, I just didn't need it. They also had a Santal 33 dupe, that one was nice. I just don't need another Santal smell and I really hope they come up with lotions for this collection. That's everything I ended up getting today at, while I was out shopping. It was way more than I expected. I will stop chatting your ear off and I will see you guys when I'm doing something fun next, okay? I have been doing the stretch and folds to our dough. So it'll be ready for tomorrow. Everett's outside, obviously you can hear him. A little update on the deck. Look at the progress, Everett and our neighbors who are like so awesome were helping Everett. So he's getting the base down. Tomorrow, we'll be decking. Wow, Bob. Four days. Four days what? To redo it? Rip it out, it took me two days and Nice. Put it in, took me two days. Ever just got finished with today's work on the deck and he's hungry. So I just went and got all that stuff at Trader Joe's, but he's like, let's go out to eat. And it is Friday night. So we think we're going to go to our favorite little Mexican restaurant. There's this, um, Sam. Not our favorite of all time, but our favorite in town. Yeah. Clarify. <laughs> it's not, it's, yeah, our favorite that we have in our town. Um, they have a sampler platter there that comes with like nachos, taquitos, and uh, quesadillas. And it's like 15 or 16 bucks and it's huge. So we usually share it. It's such a good deal. Like it's like 22 bucks out the door with tip for two people. So I think we're just gonna go do that and eat a bunch of chips and salsa and nachos. So date night, impromptu date night. Good morning. Oh my goodness, I'm so pale. I need to do fake tan tonight before my friend's baby shower, but I want to show you guys an update of the back deck. Everett's done a lot with our neighbors. They've helped so much. He's got all the trucks down. It's kind of like a light sandy beige color. I really like the color. It's like very light, almost slightly cool toned. Everything else is obviously still a wreck, but what we're planning on doing over here is a concrete slab and then eventually we want to get a hot tub over there. And then right here we want to put in like a fountain water feature thing. We want to get an egg chair right here. We got new patio furniture in the back, like couches that you guys I think have seen. And then all, all along the side area we're going to do rock, like right here. And then the rock is gonna go and like swivel around to that area back over there where there's other like flower beds. Um, so like all rock, small rock. And then we'll put the barbecue right here just for easier access, but it'll be in the rock area. And then I think right here we wanna do a wall, like a trellis, almost we kind of even like this like metal siding that we have and then just go vertically and then grow plants up here for a little bit more like privacy on the deck area but i feel like our vision is coming to life and ever and i are like really in agreement on what we like and yeah it looks so good and it's so nice not to have our other deck was like it was rotting so it was just like soft in some places and like I feel like just slightly dangerous. And it also had like a weird shape because like right here on the deck was like cut out and they like had the propane tank right here. We've since moved the prote propane tank out of the backyard because we didn't like looking at it, it was so ugly. Um, so we moved it to the front yard and then we have more deck space now. And then I am currently baking some bread. I just put it in the oven. Here is the one that is our second loaf. 
is going to go in a little bit later. I'll try to design it. And then I'm also doing a ton of laundry and also um, decluttering my closet. Once a year in our town, there is a church that does like a free clothing drive or like a free clothing thing for people in our community that don't have money to buy new clothing. And so I would much prefer give the clothing that I'm donating to that cause since it directly like impacts people in our community that are in need versus giving it to the thrift store. So I'm really trying to go through and donate a lot of stuff. I have so many things that I've bought recently and I don't have any more room. So like I'm really trying to go through and donate a lot towards that because it's a good cause. So I have two big huge black bags as of right now that's my cue to go <laughs> i'm decluttering so yeah <laughs> All right, like I said, I'm not great with the designs yet, but this one came out at least somewhat better looking. We're currently at the nursery, picking out some plants. I got some foxglove, two foxglove. These are echinacea, they're half price. Um, that turns into a giant big thing. Everett wants Vinca for some ground cover near our fountain that he just built. And I got this little white ground cover. I like that white ground cover too, Everett. And then I got a few marigolds. And this cool guy, which is called dinosaur food. These Daphne smell so good. I love the smell of Daphne. Should I get another one of the white ground cover to mix in with them or? Yeah, they look good together. Yeah, they're cute. What's up guys? I honestly don't know the last time I vlogged, probably within the last few days, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe making bread? <laughs> Anyways, today we are off to do a bunch of things. We have to go, no mochi. My dad's death certificate was incorrect, so we have to get that fixed. So we have to go to the county building and then we'll get lunch. I also have to return his Xfinity stuff. So just kind of things like that. And then later tonight we have a concert. We're going to see the Dirty Heads, which I love them. We're gonna go see them in concert, which is really exciting. Last time I saw them was actually with my dad, um, but Everett wasn't there, so. And then the elevators is opening up for them and I love them too, they're so good. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Bunch of errands, maybe do a little shopping while we're in SAC. I kinda want some other things for the outdoor area. Like we're really working on our backyard right now. Everett has been working out there like every day the last week. We're headed off to the movies, hence our comfy fits. Let me know down below, are you guys like also comfy fit to the movies people? I like wanna wear sweats only. Can I ask a question to your people? Of course. Uh, are you guys bring your own type of <laughs> treats in or do you pay, pay for the treats there? Where's your moral compass on that one? I feel where's mine because I do it both. Like I feel like I get, if I want popcorn or- I didn't ask anybody specific. She's obviously telling you her- Ever makes me feel bad that I bring <laughs> snacks in. I didn't, I didn't even he call you out. He wants the snacks though. I didn't though. call you out. I did not call you. I personally He feel, wants me to bring his snacks uh, in so I'm the criminal. I feel uncomfortable doing it. Rochelle has no qualms doing it. So I rely on her. But the thing is, is that I also, <laughs> if I bring a snack, like candy, I also buy something at the movie theaters too. Like I'll get my drink or the popcorn. So it's like, I'm not completely screwing over the movie theater. I still spend money there on their treats, but I just don't buy like All everything the there. Today we're not even buying treats. 
dude. It's because we can't afford any of our <laughs> health reasons for health Yeah, we're reasons. eating too much bread. What movie are we seeing? We're gonna go see the Civil War movie. Which is not about- Oh, look at his front yard, it's so beautiful. It's about, it's like post-apocalyptic. United States is going through a civil war. What's it? Is it like East Coast versus West Coast? There's like uh, five sects of. Oh, I thought there was just two. No, there's like the Western oh my gosh, they're forces. Riding their bikes in the rain. They are. Get dedicated. after it, dude. Yeah, the kids go having kids. fun, dude. And the smiles on their faces. Love to see it. It's a movie that caught me on the social media. They had a very big social media presence. I didn't even see it once, so yeah. it must be targeted. Targeted. To men. Stereotyped and targeted correctly. <laughs> um, it's like an action thriller movie, end of the world, apocalyptic road trip. Uh, these people, you probably have heard of it. I don't know why I'm explaining. I it. didn't hear about it one time. Anyways, well, it's supposed to be good. We'll let you know how good it is it's right here bit. in a couple minutes. We're training. We got Uggs. We got sweats. Where's your beanie? <laughs> we got beanies. All right, we just got out of the movie. It's still light outside. What'd you think of it, Everett? I give it a solid like 83 B, B range. It was good. It was very good. There was some parts that were kind of confusing to me and it was very realistic. The way they filmed that, I give it an A. Uh, it was very intense and realistic and it was a good movie. <coughs> good movie. <laughs> I liked it. It was violent, definitely violent and gory and disturbing like some scenes or like like to where you're just like always like f scared or like mm. like you don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like I was just in an elevated state of like emotional distress for the whole movie, which I don't know. I think that's the that's what they were aiming for during the movie. Of course, but yeah. I thought it was good. I, I like it more sensitive to violence now that I'm a little older or the violence has gotten more intense on movies or something. But I did, I did like it. And I liked the premise that it was about like photo journalists in a war. It was basically about the United States being in civil war and then it follows the photo journalists that are capturing the war. Okay, we next just got takeout. Next we're gonna watch Dune 2. <laughs> Trying to convince her to go down today back to back to, i got some tom ka soup at the thai food place and ever got a burrito at the mexican food at the mexican place. food place. they're right next door to each other and it honestly right we're not here, the only here. couple that i know that does that <laughs> yeah our friends do that too he goes to the mexican food place and then she gets the thai food 